friends and welcome to another video. I'm Maeda and today I'm making Conan, the little detective. So if you still didn't subscribe, please subscribe and let's begin. So first, as per usual, I'll start off by drawing him first. As a reference for myself, I really wanted to make Conan since I was 14 years old, but I didn't have the skill nor the determination, so I thought it would be a nice touch now. I remember when we was young, we used to stay up late, me and my sister, just to watch it on television after my mom sleeps so I drawed him like I remember him of course I used some references online and I think it would be so distinctive when I make it into a doll I checked on my material before I make the doll and found out that I'm almost out of the thin wire that I make the fingers with so I made him putting his hands into his pockets <laughs> I think it turned out pretty good and I will also use this wire to make the glasses later on what really caught my attention is how wide his shorts are compared to his noodle legs and don't even get me started on his shoes but after all, I love drawing him very much and I think I will love the doll too <laughs> now to color it, I just do and ta-da! Magic, right? <laughs> like if it's ever this easy. To color it, I used soft pastels and color pencils. That's why the colors are not so opaque. Now I will line it with black ink just to make the drawing pop. Now I noticed that he doesn't have an eyebrow, so I gave him some eyebrows. And I feel that it adds up to the character. I really like this step. Now that we have our reference done, I can start with my doll. I never said that drawing is one of my expertise, I just try to make it as decent as possible. So let me know what you think in the comments and let's begin crocheting. I will work with 1.5mm hook 
and this skin tone color yarn unfortunately I don't keep the color numbers but it's just the shade in between you know I mean not the dark one neither the light one so if you have any questions just let me know down in the comments below I'll start with the feet first make a magic ring then work six single crochets in it and close the circle now work one single crochet in every stitch around for the next three rounds so that we have four rounds in total now work only two single crochets then chain one and turn work another two single crochets chain one and turn then work one single crochet in every stitch around so that we have eight single crochet in the round Work two decrease in the back of the foot. And now we have six single crochets in the round. Work one single crochet in every stitch around for the next ten rounds. work to increase then to decrease and the next round is to decrease then to increase that will form the knees work one single crochet in every stitch around for the next 10 rounds Now make the same thing again to make the other leg and connect them together like we made in the basic body video. Chain 3 and work on the other leg one single crochet in every stitch around for the next 4 rounds. And that's how it will look then change to the white color to be the white shirt under the jacket and continue working one single crochet in every stitch around for the next 11 rounds now after we made the shirt you will have now the upper body and the legs and I love how they turned out to be so noodly and crowned like so we need to make the arms now in order to attach them to the body make a magic ring and work six single crochets inside the same circle Then close the circle. Now work one single crochet in every stitch around for the next 15 rounds. And repeat the same thing again to make the other arm. Now to attach them together with the body, we will work with the white yarn, one single crochet in each stitch around the two arms and the body, which will be 30 single crochets in total.
After we worked one single crochet in each stitch in that round, we will work two decrees in every corner, which is going to be at the end and the beginning of each piece, whether it's an arm or the center body. And keep working like this for two rounds. So that we will have 14 stitches eventually. And that's how it will look like. Now before we continue any further, insert the wires inside the body to stabilize it. Measure it first, cut it, bend it, and then insert it into the body. And it will make a significant difference in the structure of the body. Now stuff the body firmly with fiber. And then back to finish the body. Work 5 single crochets, 1 decrease, then another 5 single crochets and 1 decrease. Now we have 12 single crochets in the round. Now we will change the hook and the yarn in order to make the neck and the head. For the yarn we will use the skin tone color again and for the hook we will change 1 millimeter hook. Now. Work one single crochet in each stitch round for the next three rounds to make the neck. And here it is. Now work four chains, then skip the first chain from the hook and work three single crochets. And that would be the chain. And increase the head as usual till you reach 48 single crochets in the round. And finish the head as we made before in the last video, which was the basic body for every doll. I will leave it in the description box down below or you will find it on the eye icon in the corner of the screen. If you want me to make a specific video about how to make the head from scratch, just let me know in the comments. Now I will make him the shorts. Start with 20 chains. Then close the chains into a circle with slip stitch. Then chain 1. And work one single crochet in every stitch around. Then close the round with slip stitch. Now repeat that for the next six rounds. Then repeat the same thing again to make the other leg. Now to connect them together, just work one single crochet in every stitch around on both legs, which will be 40 single crochets in total. Then close the round with a slip stitch. Now I will make the pockets by working 5 single crochets, then 4 chains, and skip 4 stitches, and work 22 single crochets, and repeat the same thing on the other side to have 2 pockets in the short. Now work one single crochet in every stitch round for the next three rounds. For the jacket, I started with the sleeves. Work 10 chains and close them with a slip stitch. Then chain 1 and work 1 single crochet in every stitch around. Repeat for the next 14 rounds. And that's how it will look. And repeat the same thing again to make the other sleeve. Now 
now chain 41 and skip the first stitch from the hook and work one single crochet in every stitch across so that we have 40 single crochets in total now chain one and turn and repeat the last row for the next 16 rows That's how it will look. And to connect the sleeves, I will do ta da! We will make the same two decrease in each corner thing again. Don't worry, I will talk more about the clothes in a future video, explaining how to make that in detail. Now, to make these parts of the jacket, I made them separately and connected them after. And they were very easy. Just work two chains and make an increase in the second chain from the hook. Then chain one and turn and work two single crochets and then chain one and turn again and work two single crochets then turn and chain two and work two foundation single crochets if you don't know how to make the foundation single crochet i will leave the link in the description box down below now chain one and turn and work two single crochets Then chain one and turn and make one increase. Then chain one and turn and work only one single crochet. Then chain one and cut the yarn. And repeat the same thing again to make the other piece. Now, in order to connect them to the jacket, just work one single crochet in every stitch around the whole jacket and that's how it will look let me know what you think in the comments down below now i will start the shoes work five chains then increase in the second chain from the hook now work two single crochets then four single crochets in the last stitch now turn and work two single crochets and work an increase in the last stitch so that we have 12 single crochets in the round now close the round with a slip stitch and chain one then work two increase and two single crochets and then four increase and two single crochets then two increase now we have 20 stitches in the round close it with a slip stitch and chain one and now work one back post single crochet in every stitch around for those who doesn't know how to make a back post single crochet you can change the speed of the video to make it slower or you can watch the video when I made all the stitches that would be very helpful for you now close the round with slip stitch and cut the yarn so in order to make the pattern of Conan's shoes his shoes had a white front and red back 
So I will count 8 stitches from the front and then start with the red color and work 12 single crochets in the back loop only. Now change the yarn to the white color and work 8 single crochets in the back loop only and close the round and chain 1 and change the color to the red yarn again. Now work 12 single crochets with the red color and then 2 single crochets and 2 decrease and 2 single crochets with the white color. And close the round and chain one and change back to the red color work 12 single crochets with the red color and then three decrees with the white color now turn and work three single crochets with the white color Then work one slip stitch in the back loop only in every stitch around. Like this. And repeat the same thing again to make the other shoe. Now to make the hair, I will work with black yarn. Now for cotton hair, I will need to make a flocking. Flocking is like a fluff, like a powder, but with yarn. But I didn't have any, so I made my own flocking. You just need to grab a piece of yarn and fold it several times and then cut it really tiny. And that's what you will get. Just be careful not to blow in it. It's like dust and will go everywhere. Now before we start, I will remove the hair wifts from the plastic just to dry. So I will use these hair wefts to make the hair in the front and the flocking is for the whole scalp. Now before we start gluing the hair, just make sure that you have wrapped the whole body just to protect it from any dust or anything from the flocking. Now I have drawn a line to where I want the hair to be and also protected the face with a piece of saran wrap. Now apply a proper amount of glue, just not too much. Just get the flocking and cover the whole area. And then leave it for a couple of hours to dry. And that's how it will look after it dries. Now cover the face very well and remove the extra flocking just like this. Now to make the glasses, I got a thin piece of wire and I will wrap it with black yarn. Just keep bend and measure until you have the right measurements.
and that's how it will look after it's done. Now unwrap the body and dress him up. Yeah, here we finished. I really enjoyed him working on this doll. It took me so long to finish, but I really enjoyed working on it. I love Conan. I love my memories with it. I love everything about it. And I love how it turned out. Now because the rest of the video is self-explanatory, I will leave you to the footage. Now to make his bow tie, just work 8 chains, skip 3 stitches and work 2 half double crochets, then 1 slip stitch and 1 half double crochet, then 1 double crochet. that cut the yarn and then tie it from the middle
I made all the buttons from a thin cardboard. I just painted this one with yellow and the other ones for the shoes with white. Now for the eyes, I just drew them manually on a piece of white cloth. Now if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe and tell me what you think in the comments. See you next week, bye!